Hey guys and welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial I'll go over some quick way to find your system specifications which include your processor, RAM and even your graphics card. So uh, in this video I'll go over three main Windows operating systems which is uh, Windows 7, Vista or uh, XP and show you how to find these information in each of those. Now if you're using Windows 7 like me uh, it's really easy to get to the information. Simply click the start uh, start button which is the blue orb right here and then click after clicking it the start menu should appear and then point to uh, computer don't click it just point to it and right click and in the menu click properties and this should bring up the system properties window uh, you'll notice it because it's a big blue window button and then when the w window comes up in this uh, go to the system section and you'll see your processor which is for me is Intel Core i3 CPU, and uh, you'll see your installed memory. For me, it's four gigabytes, and you'll even see if your OS is system 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. For me, it's 64-bit. Now, in Windows 7, finding your graphics card information is also very easy. So to do that, right-click on the desktop, and then click Screen Resolution. It should be on the menu. Once you click it, you'll you'll have the window open up change your screen resolution and there's a link that says advanced settings click that and another window should pop up and then you can just see here you'll see the name of your graphics card a manufacturer for me it's Intel Integrate HD graphics and you'll see the total RAM in your graphics card and total video memory and all that stuff and these are really good inf things information especially when it comes to finding out if you're card can handle some graphic in inten intense and programs like games. Well now it's time to go to Vista. Hey guys now we're going to show you how to do this in Windows Vista. So finding the system information is exactly the same as Windows 7 it, as it is in Windows Vista. So to do that go to your start menu, right click on computer and then click the menu that says properties. And this should bring up the same window that you saw in Windows 7. Um, so you can go to the system section and then you'll see your processor and RAM and your system type here. Um, now finding the graphics card is a little bit trickier in Windows Vista. To do that, right click on the desktop desktop, sorry, and click properties. In the window that appears, click on uh, sorry, click on the display settings option right here. After you click on that, a new window should pop up. In this window, you need to click on Advanced Settings. Once you do that, you'll see the same window that you saw in Windows 7. You'll see your graphics card information from its virtual box, which I'm running in virtual box, and you'll see your, all your memory information. Very handy if you need this. Now, if you're using Windows XP, let's go back 10 years and show you how to do that. Okay, so if you're using Windows XP, finding the system specifications is also easy. We do the same thing as we've done before. We click Start. And once we click start, we point to my computer and click properties. Or right click and then click properties. In the window that appears, we'll see a Windows logo and it should call, be called system properties. We'll have our basic CPU and RAM information from, from it says Intel i3, core i3 processor and 1 gigabyte of RAM. Um, now to find the graphics card information, it's a little bit tricky, but it's not that bad. So right click on the desktop and then we click properties. Once we've done that, uh, a system display property window opens up and in here we click the tab that says settings. Now all you have to do is click advanced. Another window pops up and here it, we, should have the, we click the tab that says adapter. Here we'll see our basic graphics card man manufacturer information so here it says virtual box graphics adapter because I'm using a virtual machine and you'll see some basic graphics card information such as type of graphics card. Here it's an integrated graphics card and I have allocated 64 megabytes of RAM for this graphics card for the virtual machine. Anyways, uh, so you can just click, click OK to close these dialog boxes. Um, this is very handy uh, thing. This is a very handy situation uh, because sometimes you might find a software and it will have some minimum or recommended system requirements and you might wonder what, if you meet or exceed those requirements. So um, if, if you know how to get to these information this will save you a lot of trouble. So I hope uh, this video was helpful and if you have any questions or comments feel free to post the comments below this video wherever you're watching this 
you could also contact me and I will try to my best to respond. Um, thank you and have a good day.